Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big uncle, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please like the video, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way, you know Dream Teamers when we upload new content. All right. We get right to it. <laughs> We're getting to it. Yeah. The Los Angeles Lakers lost a, a game last night to the Brooklyn Nets. It wasn't a game. Well, the way people were. That was rushed. a championship. Yeah, man. That was, that was a championship. Man. I haven't seen so many happy haters in my life, man. <laughs> Yo, anytime anytime the Lakers lose since Bron been on there, it's like, well, no. I can't even say that because the Lakers' whole organization has just been they, people hate them. If yeah, you're not yeah. a Laker fan, you, you pretty much you hate the Lakers. And then you add LeBron to that, that's like double hate. I mean, because Twitter and all the social medias be shut down when they're on these eight, nine-game win streaks. But you let them lose one game, well, they, people go, even some of the fans, they want to trade everybody. They, no <laughs> doubt, yeah, yeah. It, it gets crazy. So, I mean, that wasn't just – a normal game for Brooklyn Nets. All right, so watching the game, right, because I have a few things to uh, examine. What was your biggest takeaway from it all? The Brooklyn bench. <laughs> First of all, you know, I you know I watch all the games. I watch the Nets, especially, you know, I don't always watch the Nets, but since they made these trades and everything and Kyrie there, I watch them. No doubt. And they're pretty much all season long, they nonchalant on the bench. You see them two sitting there next to each other. Um, KD not playing. He's pretty much out of the loop, just sitting back. But last night, Kevin Durant stood up the entire game. I mean, this I'm telling you, this was their championship. It, it, it meant something to them. You can tell. They, it's personal. It, yeah, well, yeah. you already know those two petty dudes, when it, when it comes to LeBron, they can't hide it from me. I don't know about you guys out there, but I see it. And people always say, you know, like, because we're LeBron James fans and Laker fans, that we're crying, uh, we're emotional because we lost. No, we're champions. And The only people who say that are those who hate them. Right, but but I'm, yeah, I got to yeah. let them know. Yeah. The, the champions, and we understand the marathon. We, they went through this all, uh, same thing. The big hoopla with the Clippers last year. And Houston. You know, and Houston. Houston would come the regular season with Harden, and they were, I mean, they came. Remember Westbrook got there? They they blew the Lakers out, and, oh, if they meet up in the playoffs. No, Lakers in five. <laughs> that's what ha- That's what happened. You know, it looked yeah. like they couldn't match up with them in the, in the uh, in the, during the regular season, but that's the big, the big thing here. Shit, LeBron activated. What, go zero dark 30? That's the point. It's not time for that. For what? <laughs> exactly. Oh, AD is out. AD is out, and LeBron got to carry this team. No, you need to get the other players ready. Exactly. We already know what It's a marathon, yeah. and they don't get it. Oh, so now they're going to examine the Laker team without AD in it. Yeah, and we're going to go by the, the record of what – what happens when AD is not there and now you're going to measure how great LeBron is. Dude who just scored 35,000 career points. He's not a scorer night. though. And, oh, he, but he's not. But he's 35,000. You know, you know some of the nonsense that I hear, this, this, I love social media. I love the, the, I love the communities that goes on in, in, in Facebook and you, you got people who actually saying the only reason why he scored 35,000 points is because he came out of high school. Not like Kareem and all them who played four years in school and in, in college and, and Michael Jordan who who only played three years in college. So that's the re- 18 years is 18 years in the NBA. Yeah, no doubt. Does it make it? <laughs> I mean, what do college have to do with any of that. It, it, that don't even make sense. It doesn't. It, I don't get it because they don't get it, man. They say it's the gruel. Oh, it, 
they 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 bodies one person said and i read i wish i would have read his name because i would definitely call him out he said that kareem took wear and tear in college before he got to the nba and he still scored what he scored so it makes what kareem did much greater uh, and my my thing is first of all is it's it's a record that need to be broken or tied that's what records are for right and it's not comparing the players or who's better or who's not it's just the simple fact of a milestone of getting to 35,000 his longevity it, right that that's all it's about but it's at, because he's doing it yes yeah and that's where you or anyone else or even myself may go wrong when you try to argue with individuals like you can't debate with them they've already set up their mind that they hate the dude and I'm, you're not going to convince them to like him so last night's game right was just some extra ammunition that they needed. Did you see the bench though? They, it was their championship. The it was their finals. They they wanted that. KD, uh, would, they would make a move, uh, a crossover of uh, heart and split. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, he, and, and, and Caruso and and, uh, and THT. And, yeah, and went to the basket made a layup. It was pretty. Did you see Kate? He was waving his Matter hands. Matter of fact, that's the meme all over Twitter today. Yeah. Yeah. The face. All, I mean, Kyrie laughing at, with LeBron, missed the foul shot. All this stuff is, it's like, and most people will say, oh, it's just trash talk. That's not trash talk. That's personal. Yeah. It was personal on 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 Katie's podcast. When he, <laughs> everything they say, the little subs that they throw out there, it shows. To the point to where LeBron knows it, but you but you got to keep this in mind though. What if you really those who pay attention to what's going on? Yeah. LeBron, in some respects, has a stranglehold on all of their legacies. Kyrie hasn't won without him. Right. Harden couldn't get over the hump last year. Yeah. Oh, what's did they play? They played. They them? played them last year in the playoffs. Yeah, 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 played them last year. Lakers in five. Yeah. That's what I'm. Mean. <laughs> yeah. But, and, KD, and Harden looked like trash. He did. Yeah. Not to mention, when he was in OKC, he lost to Braun in the finals, right. missing wide open layups. Mm-hmm. And now Durant but wants KD to be the beat face. But KD beat him. But KD beat him twice. He's proven to you that it doesn't count. Or that it is really not that valuable that's, because he can't that's get what over his, it. That's where all his animosity come from. Because I beat him with Golden State, and they still talking about him. What about me? What about me? Um... Draymond Green even said it. Draymond Green said that after KD and hit that that three to go ahead and in, in, in that Golden State mat, um, matchup against Cleveland to beat LeBron, and they won, and he was the and KD was the MVP of the series. He was still up. He he, he became upset because. They were still saying that LeBron is the best player in the league. And he took out his frustration on his own and, team. And he took his frustration. Draymond said it. Too emotional. Right. So that, that goes to show you that last night, and for even those who you know are so ecstatic this morning about them winning, yeah. they hate that man so much to right. where they're, really, they're, they're willing to magnify. Because if it was the Detroit Pistons, and when they lost to the Pistons, right, yeah. the Nets maybe about a week and a half ago, oh, it's just one game. It don't matter. So why is last night such a pivotal game? Without AD or Schroeder, how can you really evaluate that game? Not, it's a win. You KD take, didn't play either. You take your win in the stand. Of course. KD didn't play either. Okay. But we'll 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 have a discussion about that later on. What but, the simple but, fact but that when KD plays, it, they're still a perimeter team. They have not a soul on that squad to stop AD. No. He's the biggest mismatch on the floor. And see, and that's the well, LeBron can't win without AD. You're right. <laughs> AD can't win without LeBron. He hasn't won without those LeBron. two together. They cover up so much negativities that's that's in in a team. They do so much. AD, defensive presence, the way LeBron run the team. Them two together is pretty much, when they're clicking, unbeatable. They know that. In a seven-game, you might get a win or two. Yeah. But a seven-game series? 
listen, man, we, we deal with facts here. We try to keep the emotions out of the joint. Like, you even mentioned, like, Kyrie with the whole free throw situation. Yeah. Him and Braun both shot 50% from the line last night. Braun was 3 of 6, he was 2 of But that's four. what hate does. Like, so, See, it's a difference between... But, but it's not just him, though. It's the people that carry that narrative and that torch. You can tell they're not watching the game. Oh, you see Kyrie was laughing at him. That's cool. That's part of the game. We get that. But we're here to unpack the layers and, and the reasoning behind it. And it's evident if you don't see that, this is bigger than basketball. These are insecure men yeah. who can't get over the fact that a dude who's in his what, 18th season still the face of the league. Yeah. Get over it. It is what it is. It is what it is. Enjoy it. Because LeBron is. But this is what I, I see. The greats always need some inspiration, and they need yeah, yeah. things like this to happen. So, and 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 LeBron is all about his legacy. Always, he's always about his legacy, always. and he knows that right now my legacy is not going to be be determined on a regular season game against the Brooklyn Nets because when I when I if I, if I came out here and smashed them, but I just I'll just drop this thirty. But if I smash them and win the game, nobody's going to remember that. In the regular season, mm -hmm. all right. He's but what they're gonna remember is they dominated me in the regular season to the point to where I'm I'm making my own narrative because if I have to play them in the finals, I'm gonna be the underdog. <laughs> Will he really, really though? Be, no, but e the, even when he's the underdog, the, he's the, expecting the to me win. The that's, media that's is weird. gonna make him the underdog, but until he until he does it, he was the underdog and. Houston, all of it. Charles Barkley, everywhere. Oh, they can't beat Houston. First it was they can't beat Portland. Nah. No disrespect to my man Dame. But they came. Oh, no, the Lakers, they got a bad matchup in the first round. Lakers in five. That's how it turned out. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Houston, I don't when they play their small ball, they can they can't they can't they can't do anything about their small ball. They can't match up. Lakers in five. Lakers in five. Oh, did you see our boss Brooklyn beat beat up on the Lakers? They oh they can't do nothing with them in the playoffs in the finals if they do meet up. Lakers in five, unless Brooklyn is the next Clippers, who doing all this talking and all excited and, and looking ahead, <laughs> looking ahead to the to the Lakers and LeBron and can't get past Philly or Boston or Milwaukee or somebody over there. You better pay attention to the full marathon. Well, that's what champions do. And that's how you can tell that leadership isn't really a it's focal not point there. over there. Because it's last night, listen, I, I was out. <laughs> I, it was hilarious. Yeah. And I'm like, I watched the game. I'm like, yo, these dudes are really all in on this. I, I understand you want the W. Right. And granted, you, you coming off some bad press, but even that was self-inflicted because y'all was out here bugging and wilding, mm. giving people things to talk about. Mm. But I find it ironic that just maybe two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago, everyone was against them. You know, they're playing more games than everyone. And they're crying and the whining. Refs. The refs. <laughs> when you're losing, yeah. now you won and you have nothing to say about the league. Everything, Everything is smooth is now. Everything is smooth now. It's just it's hilarious. Mm -hmm. Shout out to them for the W, but in the grand scheme of things, it just checks off one mark on either the, the win or the loss column. Mm. That wasn't championship last night and as bad as the Lakers played they was always within 8 to 10 8 but then you know yeah. LeBron was shit or there was nobody else uh, only one person other person from the Lakers roster that um was double, digit. double digit that was Kuz that was Kuzma yeah and after that you had what KCP had 9 and points and then you know there was always right there until LeBron went to the bench when he went to the bench then, it, then, you know, Schroeder would normally run the offense then. They really had no yeah. no um, general on the floor after that. Yeah. It was evident, man. Like, um, But but good win for the Brooklyn Nets. I, I stuff love, like, I love this type of stuff, too, because yeah. it's just setting the narrative going forward. Like, you know, but when you're strategic, you like, you know, have, have your little party time now. It, it doesn't matter right now. But at the end of the day, Cause it's they, not just they, they set the table though. Yeah, I don't want to hear anything going that's forward. That's why I love. That's why I, I don't want to hear stuff. anything. Because like on in all the communities, I, I love the communities. I stay in there. You I, like I, debating? I, I, I love to make to have this these conversations. I, this is what I, I love it. Healthy debating. Yeah, and you know some of the groups that I'm in. Matter of fact, I got to I got to shout them out. Sports City. 
Shout out to them. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out to Sports City. Shout out to Sports City. And if you're, and if, if you're not a, a member of it, you should get in. Right? Sports City. So, the funny thing about some of them them fellas that's in there, they, they, they hate LeBron so much. And when you tell them they hate LeBron, they, they get mad about that. They get mad about anything LeBron. But when LeBron is on an eight, nine game win streak, get, this is what I'm wanting. That's why I want you to come over. It's ghost in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody's posting. And if you and if you tag somebody in there, they 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 doing they working on their stocks. <laughs> <laughs> they doing all kind of different things, family issues and all that. But if LeBron lose, I'm telling you, uh, no they, good. They was out there. They was out two two thirty three o'clock a.m. Still posting and tagging and, <laughs> and wanting to talk to me. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. I love it, though. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Then they tell me, because I'm defending uh, the actions and calling out the things that I'm calling out, they're telling you that uh, you're emotional. <laughs> well, everybody don't like facts, man. No, they don't believe in the facts because that's what happens when you you hate it for real, man. It is. Yeah. I mean, LeBron, there's no reason for him to activate right now. And this, this is what they expect. And no, he's, he knows already. It's not time for this. Just win the games you're supposed to. Yeah, exactly. Stay in the top three of the standings and let everything handle itself. It's a seven-game series. That's it. That's it. And they need to lose four. Mm-hmm. So last night, yo, shout out to the Brooklyn Nets. I got that W, man. They got their championship. Yeah, but, like, it's... They want more. The, the way you react or behave in certain moments proves just how just look at any of their past your confidence. games yeah. look at their past games and look at this one look at look at the look how, this they is needed it this is this is my point when people don't understand well they're supposed to play hard they went to a level last night that the lakers wasn't on yeah. because it ain't time for that level yet yeah the, you know some teams have to play hard like like the new york knicks the, the Detroit Pistons, we talk about these teams, these up-and-coming young teams that, that we talk about as far as for playoffs. They got to play hard like this and, and, and bring that intensity every night. But those championship veteran teams, they know they can't do that. They'll be burnt out by the time the, the, they get to where they're going, deep into the playoffs, into the finals. They'll be burnt out, especially with 18 years in. So big ups to Brooklyn. Yeah, it's not his first rodeo. Let that man do what he does and yeah. what he's been doing. And um, I don't know, man. One thing about Bron, this is the last thing I'm going to say. It, it was similar, not even in the playoffs last year, when he lost those early games to the Clippers. Yeah. It, was, it reminds me thing. of that. It's the yeah. same thing. Same thing. In the back of my – and even as a fan sometimes, you're like, yo, why he – but then you remind yourself, like, this dude, he knows what he, he's a champion. You remember, oh, he's scared – it, it got to the point where they were saying he's scared of Kawhi. Yeah. Right. And he ended up handling his business, and Kawhi didn't. And that's not his fault. And that's and, and that's the sad part. What I'm saying about and that's what happens when you looking forward, mm -hmm. and you're looking at, as you're definitely gonna be there, and you look past the teams that you gotta play to get there, yeah. disrespecting them guys like the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. I hope that Brooklyn don't have that. Denver Nugget call, wake up call, yeah. out of the Philadelphia 76ers. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I wasn't going to even touch on this, but I, I think it's important too, because how, like, even with narratives, how they change this whole thing about, you know, people say that. I've even said it, and I still believe it to this day. Brooklyn doesn't play any defense, right? Mm. And you was, I was watching the announcers or listening to the announcers last night who were so giddy about this W, mm. stated how when you score that many points, you don't have to play defense. Mm. In what world is that? And and that's crazy. And the sad part about that was coming from a Hall of Famer. Yeah, Shaq. Reggie, Reggie Miller. Miller. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 Barkley, who normally all wrongs, I never heard of it. I've been in. He said I've been in. The, he said I've been in the NBA since 1984, and I ain't never heard of that. And then you're gonna play against a team potentially before you can get to the Lakers. You gotta play probably what Philly, right? Yeah. 
they have a similar situation that the Lakers have an automatic mismatch because MB there's nobody to guard him on on you're gonna have to lock up defensively because when you're that perimeter I don't want to talk about Golden State because Golden State play defense people keep talking about them shooting a bunch of jump shots right. and three pointers they deed up but Reggie Miller is another one we we mentioned and you know Shaq is is documented as being the this era star player hater mm-hmm. I mean. He's, he, he he thinks because he has his four rings that gives him a right to bash these players. But it's hate yeah. and it's and jealousy. And Reggie Miller, I, I, I mean, all you got to do is listen to his commentary anytime he does the Lakers game, and which is all the time. And to me, I can hear it all in his voice. And when they, on these win streaks, he try to, you know, you know, somebody try to act like they're your friend, but you know already. <laughs> that's that's Reggie Miller. Well, yeah, he, he grew up. He's from L.A. Ray, but I guess being that he um he lost to them in the 2000 finals, that probably still bothers him to this day. Uh, maybe because he don't got a ring. <laughs> that could be it too. Yeah. But like um you know, Team Sports Entertainment remind y'all the podcast. Mm. Brooklyn got the the W. That's that's what we came on here to talk about. We wanted to get them their flowers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And also talk talk about the fact that LeBron doesn't have to be Superman because of one loss. Yeah, and on that's, that on on that loss, before you go ahead, I want to make sure that I get this in. I want to give a shout out to my man Taj Cooper and Amar Rashad. Yeah, shout out to, to them. Those, those Brooklyn fans. I love a trash talk with them, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to them in a minute. Uh, no doubt, man. Yeah. So that, that's all you got to say? That's it. All right. So does LeBron need to activate or no? For, for what? All right. So it goes to answer This right early? Now. Yeah. To satisfy the people that ain't going to never be satisfied? Yeah. No, nah, we understand the big picture. Yeah. yeah. And the big picture is last night wasn't the finals, right? Just remind me. Was it? Playoffs? For Brooklyn, it was. Uh, no doubt. All right. Yeah. And, and, and the new Brooklyn fans, because you know there's a lot of those now. Yeah. It's okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the NBA, man. I love it, man. This is we're team. just a, we're just stay emotional right now. <laughs> what? Yeah, because yeah, that's how, that's what they tell us. Because we're defending and 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 just speaking history. Because this this happens all the time when it comes down to it. Yeah. Um, Cleveland. Oh, LeBron James is not going to make it out of the playoffs. He's oh the Toronto Raptors can he sweeps them. Well, you know what you say, man. People love to move, move the goalposts. Go so yeah. You can never satisfy him. So you, right? You, because when he's playing them, right? We need to get ready to play them. Oh, he they can't he can't beat Toronto Raptors. Oh, he can't beat this team. And then when he beat them, oh, he ain't play nobody. But you just said he couldn't beat them. Moving the goalposts. Yeah, man. exactly. Oh, just like the bubble. Yeah. Oh, it's it's it's, it's the bubble gum championship and all that. But if they would have lost, LeBron would have lost. It wouldn't have been mentioned nothing about, oh, well, he lost the bubble. Nah, nah. It's, now it's downgraded. Goalposts is moved because they played in an atmosphere that kept them safe from COVID. It don't make sense, man. <laughs> it's still He's a polarizing sense. figure, man. Yeah, like, exactly. it's either you love him or you hate him. But listen, one thing y'all better do out there is appreciate that man because 18 years, you don't have much more time to see him. And, and looking back, they're not going to appreciate it till it's gone. 35,000 yeah. and counting. And not even consider the scorer. Mm. There you have it, man. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Leave a comment below. What do you think about the Brooklyn Nets win last night? Does it mean anything? Is it something they can build upon? Should the Lakers be worried? Lastly, do you think that LeBron James should activate zero dark 30 and start dropping 40 every night? Or should he be patient? In February? <laughs> we know the answer to that, but we're gonna, the Dream Team is out there. We want to hear back from you guys. Man. So once again, leave a comment below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. This is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. I'm Earl Tima alongside my co-host, Alan Tima. We out of here. Peace.